Well, how do them people in the view of us? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, yes, I've got my beverage ready, so it's another cup of tea with Captain Steve. I have to say, people in the view of us, I am rather enjoying making these videos. I guess it's a good way to start the day, isn't it? Anyways, what am I going to be talking about today? You've probably seen the thumbnail, you probably already know. It's called Death in the Water 2. But what is Death in the Water 2? Well, you lucky little badger out there, I'm going to be showing you exactly what it is. So here we go. I'm now on my Steam account. Heck yes, I am. That's why it says me up there. Look at that. There's me. Right. Oh, awesome. I've got 11 messages, apparently. I don't log into this I've, all too often, people in the view of us. I don't. Right. Anyway, Death in the Water 2. So let's see if I can get this back over to a trailer. Let's hit this up. Let's see if we can make this a bit bigger for thee. You know what? I'll just shut up for a moment. <laughs> and that gives you a rough idea what death in the water 2 is here you go let's have a little read dodge and carve your way through swarms of terrifying sea creatures controlled by death <laughs> a vicious giant mind controlling kraken that haunts your every move Scavenge for hidden treasure to unlock weapons and upgrades to help you in your fight for survival. Every day reveals a new nightmare. This is by Lighthouse Game Studios. Apparently, like two people or something <laughs> put this together. And the way that the sharks and everything move, they're actually procedurally generated, all the actual movements. Which is, is pretty darn freaking gnarly. So I do like games that have got procedural elements. So this one kind of fits that bill. Now you're probably thinking, well, this is a million miles away from the likes of No Man's Sky. It's not really a relaxing title. And you're quite right. <laughs> yeah, you're very right. But um, I'm a massive fan of dive games. I used to love Endless Ocean on the Nintendo Wii. And there was actually, a, a, you could come across a plesiosaur in that game if you actually hunted long enough. I think it was in number two. But that was freaking awesome. I also had Aquanaut Holiday. The game is like rocking horse turd. It's super freaking rare. I think it was on PlayStation 2 or 4 or 3. It was on one of them, but it was it cost me a freaking bomb, especially for the English version of it. It was a Japanese release only, and they did an English um, title for some reason, but it was only released overseas. So, it, yeah, it cost me a freaking bomb to get that. My missus, ex-missus, got me it for my birthday freaking years and years and years ago. And yeah, awesome game, that one. Aquanauts Holiday. Give it a little bit of a research. Um, What else? What else? Oh, Abzu. Played Abzu. Beyond Blue. I played Beyond Blue on the PlayStation 4. That was relatively recent. I think I've got a playlist still on my channel, if, if that interests you. That one is more relaxing, but it was kind of boring. You play as a dolphin, of all things, as well. But yeah, I really like the actual movements of all the actual sea creatures in this. There we go, look. Death in the Water 2 has an extensive list of incredibly lifelike procedurally animated creatures, both real and fantasy based. Emonies will navigate through the world, reacting realistically to the environment as they hunt you down using sight, sound, and scent to find you. Boy, it looks good. <laughs> it really does, doesn't it, people in the view of us? So, yeah, guess when this comes out? 28th of January. Yeah, not long, people. Yeah, check your calendars, because that's right around the freaking corner. This one creeped up on me completely, people. So, yeah, I was actually searching for Aquanauts Holiday, and then I thought, well, let's type in diving simulation games, and this came up. I was like, no, really? Done a little bit of a jump in, a little bit of a deep dive, forgive the pun, and come across this. There's all the system requirements. It's quite a beefy game. But, yeah, as long as you've got a 64-bit processor, you should be quids in. Hang yeah, so, yeah, I'd... Pretty much. I mean, you can read that. You make more sense of that than me. I'm not. I'm not the. I'm not the bestest. I mean, that's recommended. That's what I'm going by. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Anyway, people in the view of us. So that will be coming to my channel 
it's not going to be in placement of Monster Hunter or in placement of No Man's Sky or anything like that. What I'm probably going to do is do a first impressions video and you're probably going to see me brown trousers on myself. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm probably going to then going to hit on up a review after I've managed to do a few waves. I don't know how big this game is. I don't know how many dives you do, but I seriously can't wait to jump on in. It's got sort of Subnautica-esque vibes, but I can't wait to see what mythological creatures they've put into this. I've heard that there's a sea hydra of all things, like a underwater dragon type looking things with multiple heads. I've also heard, well, you saw in that video, that there's these merfolk in there, which look freaking terrifying. So, yeah, I'm going to be um, shooting them with spears in the freaking head as soon as they freaking appear. Anyway, people in the viewer, I hope you like the look of this game. I hope that hasn't terrified the freaking bejesus out of you. But, um, you know what? I'm hope It doesn't say how much it is on here. I've hit it up on the wish list, and I can't actually find a price. So, you know, if, if it is like... 50 quid i can't really afford that on the day of release because we're about to go on holiday to the the philippines i'm hoping because it's like it doesn't look like it's going to be a triple a title or anything like that i'm hoping it's going to be around the 20 quid mark or below that's what i'm hoping and if it is i am going to be buying it and i'm going to bring it to, to my channel for a bit of a laugh because i'm hoping you know if it does get a bit of traction it does get a fair few views and it might even pay for itself that's what i'm i'm, I'm lying to myself i just want to jump in and freaking play it it's very rare that a freaking game plays for itself you know <laughs> it might it might it's a chance that it might i mean if you're keen avid divers and you like sort of exploration and also slightly slightly got an a horror aspect to it so yeah if you are one of my younger viewers in the viewer verse you've seen the trailer you've seen what it actually entails if you've got fears of the ocean and you don't like sharks steer clear of this one but other than, if, if you don't mind sharks and you don't mind a little bit of horror and you want to see me scream because i probably will let's face it because this one does look like anything can come at you from any angle and it blinking will because it's procedurally animated to hunt you down with sight sound and smell you've got to have eyes in your freaking back of your head and i'm probably going yeah brown trousers i'm gonna to have to bring a, a spare pair of freaking underwears while i play in this one i think one well, people interview of us heck yes yeah and let us know sound off in the comments if you're interested for this one and you want to see it on my channel or just hit a like that'll give me a good indication wouldn't it till next time people you've been freaking awesome heck yes you have i need to get back to drinking my tea my wanderers wanderers a beverage cup of brown heck yes Morning brown, no oh, morning brown. I want to have myself a cup of morning brown. Yeah, cool, yeah. That's actually a real song, people. Yeah, jump on YouTube. Morning brown. It's actually drinking about. It's a, it's a song about coffee and other stuff, and it's a little bit adult. So yeah, again, younger viewers, you've been warned. <laughs> okay, until next time. Cherry bye.